Check one, two, check one, two. Why is it not seeing my microphone? I don't understand. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Check one, two, why can't you hear me? Hey, you guys can probably hear me right now, right? But I'm just doing my computer mic. And I don't want that. That sounds like crap. Um, but I just want to, um, I, I don't, I know you can hear me, but I'm pretty sure it's through my crappy computer mic, and that's not good. Um, let me try. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It was working completely fine. Completely fine. I did test. Oh my God. Okay. okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. Um, can you hear me? Can you hear me through a better mic right now? There's like absolutely no explanation that I can find as to why this, um, it's robotic. Oh no. Does it sound robotic? It's submarine like, oh gosh. Okay. Let's see. Um, we can't have that. <laughs> oh, that might mean there's like two inputs happening at the same time. Maybe. Ah. <gasps> I'm so sad. Okay, but I'm happy that I'm at least live. That was really hard. It sounds better now? I'm not a robot anymore? Okay, there's like literally no explanation that I have for any of this. I have no idea why. Like, it was working beautifully. I even like, I could play them back. Um, anyway, hi guys. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. That terror half hour. Um, <laughs> thank you for being here. Thank you for for coming and waiting. And oh my gosh, hi everybody. Oh my gosh, Brody, uh, Stixar, Gar the Gamer, Nightwing. Oh my gosh, Nightwing, you're so amazing. Um, everyone, Nightwing. I don't. Can I tell? Can I tell them what you sent me? I don't want to like embarrass you or anything. But oh my god, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. Um, and Jace, hi, hi Trip, hi Triple G, hi Florence, hi Bazzy, hi Brody, hi Ty, hi Jace, <laughs> hi Sierra. Oh my gosh, Philip, hi, 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 hi RMX Art. Everyone, check out RMX Art Twenty H channel. They are so amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm blown away, blown away by your art. You're incredible. Gar the Gamer, hello. Hi, Lavender. Oh my gosh, we have a celebrity in our midst, Lavender. Make sure that you are subscribed to Lavender. She's so amazing. Um, another amazing VA, and uh, she's been in a, in a couple of my audios now. Um, nice to see you. Uh, <laughs> hi, Chris. Buenos nachos. <laughs> oh my gosh, Brody. Thank you for the $5. That's so amazing. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Um, do I know any other languages? I know like a little bit of a couple, like of a few. Um, I took French all growing up and then I fell in love with Spanish and I learned a bunch of Spanish and then um, I've learned a lot of Italian too. So um, uh, just just a little bit, just, you know, just enough to get by, you know, to, to order some food because <laughs> um, I've got, I've been lucky enough to do some traveling. So um, I guess in French, I would say, um, je voudrais un coca. Um, <laughs> in, in Italy, I'll say, um, uh, mi piace pizza, uh, mi dispiace, though I pretty much just say mi dispiace all the time, which is I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, in Spanish, I don't know, buenos nachos. <laughs> but that's a great question. Thank you. Um, thank you again. That's so generous of you. Hi, Devil Nero. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. Oh, in six key pandemonium. Nice to see you. Oh my gosh. Um, 
oh, I'm so overwhelmed. So many sweet people are here. Um, do I know French? Just a little bit. Um, what is it you say? Un peu? Un peu or something? <laughs> um, let's see. Um, what would I say? Uh, je m'appelle Lacey. Um, <laughs> oui, oui. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can think of more things when I actually need them, you know, when you're actually there. And, um, you know, then, then you're like, oh, shoot, how do I say that? You know? Um, oh, thank you, Philip. You're so sweet. Um, let's see. Oh, you know, I was going to start with a song. I had it all planned out. I was going to start all dramatically with a, with a song. Mm. Take a sip of water. <laughs> and uh, then that happens. So would you guys like to hear a little song before we jump into some questions? Um, either way, I got to take my wrist brace off. So you're going to hear some... Um, some uh velcro oh my gosh brody so it's so sweet of you thank you thank you for the super chat um okay I take my wrist brace off here as a lot of you know i whine about my tendonitis a lot <laughs> so this is the wrist brace i'm always talking about um that is so kind of you oh my gosh all right <laughs> bassy um oh, sorry i hit i hit my guitar all right so Music will always calm my nerves, so I am a little nervous if you can't hear it in my voice, um, especially because of the technical difficulties. Um, but let me go ahead and, oh yeah, so I wanted to tell you guys too, there is a puzzle and then there's a little game and I'll talk about the game after the song, but um, so the puzzle, if you do, um, what's it called, um, exclamation point puzzle it'll give you a link if you want to play a puzzle there's no pressure it's free you don't have to download anything you don't have to sign up for anything it's just fun and it's just there in case you like I, I always have to be doing something whenever I'm like talking on the phone or something I can't just like I can't just like l look at you know a, a static picture so I thought it'd be fun to have a puzzle so anyway um <laughs> Okay, so let's do a little songy song. This is one I wrote actually. So, um, oh, let's see. Uh, Streamlabs is. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, yeah, you can learn about the hunt that way. Um, I'll tell you about the hunt now. So, <laughs> the hunt is. Um, it's not a doxing hunt, just so we're clear. <laughs> but it's um, a hunt for. I have a few things online. Uh, that I that I put around online, some new stuff, some new, um, new profiles and stuff like that. And there's, um, there's a lot of them, but there's four main ones. I'm hoping you guys can find, if you want to find it, you can go looking for it. And then, but there's two that are really hard to find and they have prizes. So whoever can find those, um, and, uh, and tell me that you found it and hopefully I see it in the chat. <laughs> I didn't really think of this one through. Um, but, um, uh, if you, if you find, uh, the things online, uh, the two, two, there are two of them that are really hard to find and, um, they have prizes and the prize is a custom voicemail audio that I would send to you either through discord or for your email. So that's it. And so if you feel like playing, all you have to do is like Google, you know, Lacey audio or like look on different websites to see where some new stuff might exist. And there's no pressure to play. We're just here to hang. But you know, if you want something to do, I like having something to do when, <laughs> when I'm watching a live stream or when I'm, or when I'm uh, talking on the phone with someone or something like that. Thank you so much for subscribing, Chris. That's really sweet of you. I appreciate that. Um, all right, so let's do some music. Oh, Tripp says he found one. Have you found one? What did you find? You think you found one. All right, well, tell me after the song. <laughs> you found Lacey's secret muffin recipe. Oh, my God, I have to come up with one. I do actually like making blueberry muffins. Oh, my favorite show. All right, I'm going to put I'm I'm going to put that when we do questions. All right, let me do a song and I'm so I'm not going to look at the comments for a minute, but you guys feel free to chat amongst yourselves. Are you going to dream of me Just like I dream of you When I start to 
close my eyes, it's like my wish come true. When the night feels cold, if you ever feel alone, know that I'm right by your side whenever you hear this song. Dream that you can hold my hand. Dream that you're next to me until the end. Are you going to dream of me? Just like I dream of you. This is all I need I just wait for night to fall So I see you in my sleep Dream that you can hold my hand Dream that you're next to me Until the end are you gone? Just like I dream of you Are you going to dream of me? Just like I dream of you Okay, <laughs> some of you might remember that one from uh, one of my audios actually it's a, a song I actually wrote while I was writing the um, the actual uh, script for the audio. I was like, hmm, I'm going to write uh, something about a girl writing a song. And then I, um, I wrote a song while I was doing that. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. But anyway, <gasps> Trip found the Instagram. That was one of the one with the prizes. Wow, how did you find that? Um, <laughs> okay, full disclosure on the Instagram. Um, uh, so Trip, you won a prize, you won a voicemail. Um, <laughs> so yay, congratulations. Um, unless somebody found it first, um, let me know. But, um, yes, yeah, so a heads up on what the Instagram is. So I have gotten a lot of questions asking for a face reveal and, um, <laughs> and I, I, you know, I, I can't do that. <laughs> that's, that's part of the whole VA thing. So what I did was, and thank you guys for all the claps on that song, by the way, and all your kind words over there. Um, so what I did, uh, because now, um, for my art, uh, the, the program I was using changed its model. So I had to get a new, um, a new, uh, thing to make the art. So now I'm using stable diffusion, which, um, is was a huge learning curve to be honest <laughs> and it took me a while to even figure out how to download it and get it going um but um now i can do kind of a lot more things and um so what i did was i took my actual characters from um you know all the the um different thumbnails and i mixed it with some of my own face <laughs> such a weird thing to do I know but like I got so many requests for a face reveal I'm like this is about the closest that I'm comfortable with so I took it's probably like you know I don't know what percentage 50% of my face or something like that it's like just enough that I don't think facial recognition will work um so <laughs> anyway if anyone's been you know if you're one of the people who've been asking for a face reveal that is the closest thing I'm going to do to that. So um, feel free to follow me on your Finsta. I assume you don't want to dox yourselves. Um, I mean, unless you don't care. I don't care. I'm not going to be stalking you guys. But, um, you know, feel free or, or just, uh, you know, hang out if you want to. <laughs> so anyway, 
congratulations trip that was one of the I, I guess like a horcrux or something like that um <laughs> hi the harry Dar darrell show thank you so much i appreciate that so much are you are you a youtuber as well it sounds like you have a show if so let me know what it's about um mr Nobi, you're in a back race oh no oh i'm so sorry about that oh jeez. I hope that um I hope that it heals sooner than later. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um thank you soothing. I appreciate that so much. Okay. Now, <laughs> I guess I should get to some questions. Um someone had just asked um what um well what tv shows i watch um or animes or anything like that i actually don't watch animes I, I probably should like everyone here like or so many people in like the discord and stuff love them and so they have to be great um i i remember some of my friends watching them uh, in high school and stuff um oh the puzzle's not working oh the oh no okay let me give you all the puzzle link um I do have it. I saved it just in case, because you never, you never can trust these things to actually work, huh? Um, <laughs> oh my god, I was like literally about to cry. I was about to cry. The only way I got this working, because it was working when I was unlisted, but not when I would try to do it publicly. So I did an unlisted stream, and then I, after I was live, I switched it to public. So, um, thank god it worked, because I was like, I was like, what am I going to do? Um, anyway. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, it's your first time here. Oh, cool. Undead, welcome. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Bazzy, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Thank you so much for that, that um, donation. That's so sweet of you. Why are you so nice? You didn't have to do that. And you got me all those Luna bars and coffee on my throne yesterday. That was so sweet of you. Or was that today? I don't even remember. Thank you. You're so kind. Hi, Jordan. Oh my gosh. Hi. How are you? And Hazelberg. Oh yes. Favorite show. Sorry. I am like scattered. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I have a favorite show. Maybe, maybe the old school office. Um, <laughs> I reference it enough. Um, I really like Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I think that's so funny. And oh my God, my mom is like gotten into it. And like my mom is like the sweetest, like most innocent woman. And so whenever she's like, oh, let's watch an Always Sunny. I'm always like trying to look up like which ones are like the least offensive. Cause I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to watch that with my mom. That's so awkward. <laughs> so you know and in order to get like mad at me you know there's that thing where your parents get mad at you when you're watching something on tv and it's something you know naughty happens or something um so anyway um so yeah i like those i like like you know those kinds of comedies i like um things that really shake me up too like um black mirrors are really fun and like disturbing <laughs> um and let's see what else what else do i like I don't know. I like a lot of garbage. I like, I'm like, I like a lot of stuff that I'd be ashamed to admit to you all. <laughs> that whole love is blind thing was not fake. <laughs> it was pretty much accurate. So, um, and that's the most frustrating and most enjoyable thing about being a live, uh, a voice actor. The most frustrating thing for me is my wrist. I wish my wrist would just stop hurting because I think I could be like a hundred times more um, productive if my my stupid wrist wasn't stupid. And I think I'm about to fix this cloud bot thing. Um, maybe I'm not. Um, but yeah, if my wrist would just stop being a jerk, um, <laughs> then, then I could get a lot more audios out. Although this weekend, even though I was editing like nonstop, um, but I did uh, actually uh, get an editor for the first time. And, you know, I can't do this a lot because, you know, it's expensive, but um, I really needed help this week because I had a few things I was working on. And uh, Crow was an amazing editor and um, also a, a voice actor edited um, the upcoming cheerleader audio on, um, on, uh, 
Wednesday. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, let's see. Um, yeah, yeah, I know YouTube is going to take a portion of it, but yeah, I, pr I appreciate it though so much. And, and I, I mean, don't, I don't feel any, any obligation to do anything like that, please. Um, so I, um, I, but I really, really appreciate it. Um, my favorite movie, I think the new Beauty and the Beast. Um, I, I love the old one too, but the new one is the live action. I love so much. Um, oh, I'm so glad that song made your day. You're so, so, so sweet. I'm glad. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Okay. I should go to the questions that you all, um, don't do and not say for work. See God. I will, um, see God one day. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I'm okay with it I, I don't feel bad but um but thank you for caring I really do um okay so let me go to the um the questions that you all sent in so I don't want to be like ignoring the questions in the chat but I have like 60 questions that people sent in ahead of time so I feel like I should definitely go to those too um so <laughs> and, uh, wow you guys are amazing um I am definitely gonna uh reread these afterwards and uh hopefully be able to answer you hate the live action remix that's all right. I mean everyone's got their thing they like and that they don't like but yeah I, I really do love love that movie um I've been jumping at the bit for cheerleader 10 that's so sweet thank you um okay so here we go let's go into the actual questions that um that you all submitted ahead of time and okay from a few people a few people asked kind of the same questions so i don't want to answer it like a million times and make you guys like sit around and listen to me gab um but uh so lmn lml gar the gamer mikey taller spark and midnight stroke midnight sorry midnight smoke all asked um like what inspired me to start um, what got me into this and sorry for the people who probably heard this a few times. Um, but I, uh, I had a very, 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 very hard year and a half, uh, just before I started this, actually I was on the tail end of it, uh, just as I was starting this and, um, I, I like literally everything in my life that could go wrong went wrong, but like in terrifying ways. And again, I, I do not think like I have more problems than anyone else. I have so many blessings. I'm like one of the luckiest people in the world, I think. But, um, but it was like, you know, people I love were like, you know, like really deathly sick. And like, you know, there was like a scary person that was threatening and like, I wasn't well and like everything, everything bad that could go bad, you know, aside from, you know, I don't know, I don't know what else, <laughs> it was just so bad. Um, so <laughs> I, um, I, I was just like, like shell shocked and I, but I couldn't stop. I had to still do all the things in my life I had to do, but I was just shell shocked. And so, um, I, magically found my way to uh role play asmr and it gave me like an escape from my life um <laughs> and uh and also helped me deal with some kind of rougher stuff um like a lot of like the the toxic audios that certain like guy v vas made um ended up being like really therapeutic for me i know that sounds weird but like it helped me kind of like deal with some stuff that I was kind of, I had just gone through and, um, it was still kind of going through. And so, um, <laughs> I swear to God, it saved me. I swear to God, it like saved my life. So, um, then I kind of realized, you know, as things were starting to get better, I was like, you know, I have a microphone <laughs> cause I'm a singer. And I was like, I know how to edit cause I edit. Um, and I know the kind of stuff that helped me the most and I've always wanted to be a voice actress always like a, being a Disney princess is like on my goal list if not a Disney princess some kind of princess maybe a Barbie um <laughs> but um so I was like you know I could like you know practice my voice acting and I could make 
uh, the kind of audios that helped me the most and maybe I can kind of be part of this community that helped me so much. And so I gave it a shot and um, put up some audios and my mind was blown when like a week and a half later, like I, it was the craziest day. I got like a thousand subscribers in a day and I was just like crying. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> it was just like, it was insane, insane. Um, and so, um, yeah, I mean, like, I, I mean, I was just like hoping for maybe a hundred by the end of the summer. That was, that was my real goal. Um, and so, yeah, it was just really cool. So, um, that's how I got started in it. <laughs> I hope that answers your question. Oh, and like the way I found, no, I won't even, it's too long of a story, but anyway, that's the gist. That's the gist. Um, maybe in another live stream, I'll go into the details, but yeah. So <laughs> you look great in pink, Fazzy. Pink just looks so good on us. Um, <laughs> oh, I haven't seen the Lion King live action actually, but I loved I saw Beauty and the Beast and The Little Mermaid, and I love The Little Mermaid, too. Okay, so uh, Skeets McGrew asked, um, does anyone know in your real life that you do this? One person, uh, my best, best girlfriend in the world. And um, I trust her with my life. So, <laughs> And she's the kind of friend that I know that even if we got into a big fight, she wouldn't like do something horrible so I had to tell one friend right um I you know I told my mom I have a YouTube channel that does really well and I tell stories on it and um uh so she, you know I had to share that with her but I don't really I don't tell her what it is I've let her listen to a couple and I've edited them, a couple of them <laughs> to make mom versions like I've taken out some of the like um you know the more spicy or like you know mean things um so she's heard like barbie and she's heard a couple cheerleaders so yeah that's that's who it is uh you asked a question how to get away with murder what is my response um the way to get away with murder is to not murder anyone <laughs> that's my that's my response um but yeah otherwise yeah i think i think you're gonna go to go go get in trouble if you do that so don't <laughs> um okay why doesn't the cheerleader propose already it's so funny which horror movie is your favorite i've actually kind of i've seen the shining uh recently i just saw it like six months ago with my mom and that was really good um i accidentally saw a horror movie recently that was called um something about eating Cause I, cause you know how sometimes they make trailers that like make you think that, um, that the movie's going to be like one thing and then it ends up being like another thing. Um, so I thought it was going to be a rom-com and it was like, um, I maybe it was called flesh or something. I don't remember, but anyway, I thought it was this rom-com and I was like, oh, this is so cute. And then, um, and then they're like on a date and then this dude like poisons her or like drugs her or something and she passes out and then she's kidnapped in, in his basement. And I was like, oh, this sounds familiar. I know this story. <laughs> I was like, this is a movie for me. And then, but then it started being not just that he loved her. The menu, I think that might've been it. Maybe, I'm not sure. But um, it wasn't that he was just in love with her. He wanted to take her, um, her flesh to sell to meat places that, that, oh, you saw this yesterday? <laughs> it's so funny. Um, yeah, he wanted to, like, sell her meat to, like, fine dining human meat people eaters. And, um, but then she, uh, ugh, I don't want to spoil it. It was really good. So I did actually enjoy it, but it was so gross. Like, it was so gross. And it, it made me think of if anyone watches, it's always sunny in Philadelphia when when Frank, um, Danny DeVito tricks Dee and I think Charlie into thinking that they ate human meat. And, he, and it was like the best meat they ever had. And then they think they're cannibals because it was so good. And he's like, that was human meat. Um, anyway, so... <laughs> Um, oh, it's not the, the menu. Oh, okay. I don't know what it was called. I think it was on Netflix. It was the guy who played Tommy Lee in the Pam and Tommy Lee movie. And then the girl who was in, 
I don't know what the name of that other movie is. Taylor Swift did the soundtrack. Okay, I'm boring right now. All right, let me do another question from the question thing. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Oh, this is from Frenzy2296. Congratulations on keeping it up for a year. Thank you. My question is, what was the inspiration behind the cheerleader and nerd story? That's such a good question. I wish I, I, I read this question and I was like, oh my God, I wish I had an answer. I don't. Um, <laughs> it was literally just like, I think that would be interesting. I think that would be interesting to see uh, how that plays out. <laughs> and so I didn't really think it was going to, you know, be a series, but everyone kept asking for more and I was, I'm so thankful. And, um, uh, but then like, as it went on, oh my God, I just started falling in love with these characters. Like I loved this nerd that was like, he he's kind of like IDCAF a bit. Like, I don't know, like people say a lot in the, in the comments that like, um, you know, they think that the nerd is a pushover, but like, I actually think that they like really stand up for themselves. Hey, Logan, what's up? Nice to see you. Um, I think that, you know, they're, they're kind of very often standing up to the cheerleader. So, um, uh, flesh, that's a oh, fresh, fresh, fresh. That's it. Totally. Thanks, Trip. You always got me. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So then, um, I, I yeah, I made it into series. I sort of kind of fall in love with the characters. Um, I tend to, you know, want to figure out why people are the way they are. I think it's very rare that people are one dimensional and they're just bad. Um, so, um, I, I, I like to like, it doesn't excuse the behavior. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. We can't, we can't be, you know, jerks to each other, but there's usually like some reason behind why it's happening. So, um, I just thought it would be fun to kind of explore that a little bit. And, um, you know, I, I, I personally, like, I'm not going to lie, I didn't really deal with, with much bullying in high school, but there was, like, two times where, where two different girls were, like, pretty mean to me. Like, there was one class, for some reason, this girl who was, like, usually nice to me, but she was, like, really popular and scary, um, she started putting stickers on my back in the middle of class, and I just remember, like, it made me feel so small, I was, like, covered in sweat, I was like, what is going on? Like, what's this girl doing? And, um, I think we were seniors too. And, um, it was really, really, um, crappy. Uh, and then this other girl was just a total jerk all the time, but she was more a jerk to this girl who sat in front of me. And I felt so bad for her. And like, I don't know, I just, um, and, but I would always wonder like, why, what made these kids jerks? Like who is being mean to them at home? Like, where are they learning this? And so, yeah, um, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not offended, Goblin, not even a little bit. Thank you so much. I actually thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny, um, but thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's kind of, kind of where, where that came from. And then, and then I just kind of fell in love with the cheerleader too, because I think she's really cute. I know a lot of you hate her. Sorry. <laughs> so that's that. Um, okay. So uh, MZ guys 1904 asks if I ever strain my voice. Uh, yes, if I sing a lot. If I sing a lot when I haven't sang in a while, because a lot of the times, do I know Fangar? I do not. Um, I'm not sure it's out of a show. Um, a lot of the times when I tour or when I just play a lot of shows, which I haven't been doing much of recently, I'll sing for like two straight hours, two straight hours, or sometimes three, depending on what kind of gig it is. And, um, I, uh, I, and, and I'm fine to sing whenever, but like now when I, <laughs> I haven't really sang much in, in like, like the last month at all, um, I was just singing, uh, I recorded a song yesterday and, um, and it was like so hard was so hard you know just it was a lot of belting and stuff so I uh, really kind of blew out my voice so yeah it happens a lot um <laughs> okay rmx art asked a few questions they asked how long do I plan on doing YouTube um and the answer is until you guys 
get sick of me and kick me out <laughs> or until YouTube kicks me out, which is entirely possible too. Um, <laughs> so that's, uh, that's my answer. Cause I love this so much. I, I, I would be doing this, um, you know, forever and until you guys kind of don't want me to anymore. Um, Anon and RMX Art both asked if I have hobbies outside of this, and I do. Um, music, I love singing, obviously, and um, I love hanging out with my friends. Um, I like, I used to like cooking. I still do, I just don't have any time. So I've been eating a lot of microwave meals and Luna bars. Thank you, Baz. Thank you, Zena. Um, <laughs> and um, uh, because they got me some on throw, and it was so sweet. Um, and then like hanging out with my friends. I'm trying really hard to make sure that I like at least once a week, like hang out, like go out on the weekends or something like that, because you can't, um, be, um, you know, just hold up inside constantly, you know, talking to your microphone. Um, <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Okay. What's next? I'm sorry if I'm talking fast. I will, I will admit it. I am still a little nervous. Hey, BL man, 716. How you doing? Great to see you. <laughs> um, all right. So let's see what's next. Um, okay. Oh, RMX had a few more questions. What kind of music do I like? I like all kinds of music, just, uh, different things in different genres. So like, you know, I have my favorites in all the different genres. So I'm, I'm, I'm so open to everything. What's my favorite food? I would probably say pad thai, tofu pad thai. And so I was like shocked when you guys turned it down in the basement. It was just like, this is so good. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Um, oh, thank you, Philip. That's so sweet. <laughs> um, oh, Gar the Gamer has found one of the Horcruxes. <laughs> Gar the Gamer, you just won a personalized audio. Um, so I, I am so thankful. Thank you for finding that. Um, so what that is, is, um, I started another channel and, um, you guys are welcome to subscribe to it if you want to. Uh, there's no pressure, but that is, um, uh, a, a more of an ASMR channel that I started, but I thought like, cause I love like, um, you know, fire audios or, um, what else? Um, uh, you know, rain and, um, or like one of my favorites, well, I'll, uh, uh, pad thai is so good. Okay. It's like the best thing ever. Um, <laughs> but, um, so, but I thought it would be neat to make those, but like with company. And so I realized the name sounds like Lacey's Soundscape Company. It sounds like I'm like, I'm like gonna landscape your yard. I have to change it, but YouTube won't let me for 14 days. Um, <laughs> if you guys can think of a better thing to name it, let me know. But basically it's like um, soundscapes, AMR, ASMR soundscapes, but with um, another person in the room. Um, thank you, Jasper, you're so sweet. I really appreciate you, thank you. Um, so basically it'll be like, um, you know, if, if, uh, you're sitting, you're sitting in a room and it's raining outside, but your girlfriend's right next to you. So, um, you know, every so often she says a little something or, um, you know, you hear her drinking tea and, or, um, you know, <laughs> uh, she sneezes or something. So I just think it, it's kind of fun to have, I've, I've never seen that. And I thought it'd be kind of neat to have, you know, comforting sounds, but with the sound of another person with you. Cause, um, yeah, what I was going to say is two of my favorite, um, ASMR videos from, from my favorite VA, um, are, there was one that was like falling asleep on your boyfriend's lap while he plays video games or something like that. And it was like the most comforting thing ever. It was like, <laughs> I didn't have to pay attention. And I was, you know, this is when I was like shell shocked and I just really, really needed something like that. Um, and so, uh, you know, it's like, it's like ASMR, but there's somebody in the room or another one was just like, it was just like a heartbeat and breathing for 10 hours. So that was like, so comforting. So it'll be stuff like that over there. So yeah. Um, have I thought about doing audiobooks of short stories? Um, that would be really cool. 
I have not. <laughs> Thank you for that idea. That's really neat. Um, I am a Harry Potter fan, but some of that, that stuff, um, you know, that, that I hear about oh, what's going on or behind the scenes makes me a little sad, but I, I love the whole fandom. I love the whole movies. They're so good. Um, all right, let me go back to the questions that people sent in. I really feel like I should do that. Um, okay, last question. Blonde Avatar. Uh, why did you choose blonde? Are you blonde in real life? Um, uh, yes, I am blonde in real life, actually. Um, that's why I chose it. <laughs> uh, I just, um, you know, thought it'd be fun to kind of make a little thing of, like, kind of like myself, uh, doing different things. Being a vampire, being a cheerleader, being whatever. So it's kind of like playing dolls, but with myself. <laughs> and that, that was RMX Art who asked that. Um, okay. Lacey ambiance. Oh, that's nice. I wanted like something, um, in the title that lets viewers know that, um, that somebody else is there. You know what I mean? And I thought about something like not alone, but then I feel like that was a negative connotation and company is like, yeah, there's company, but then again, it sounds like I have a landscape and comp company. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so, uh, but yeah, that, that's a really nice, I love that ambiance. It's a great, great idea. Um, am I into football? Not even a little bit, but I, but I, I totally, totally support when other people are. I think sports, uh, can teach a lot of like sportsmanship and good things. I used to run track and cross country and I loved, you know, rooting on my, my teammates. Um, and what else? Oh, I really love the one football team I really like is, I think they're called the Bengal Tigers because they have the cutest little, um, like tiger costumes that they play football in I think it's so cute so I do like them and I do like what is it called um the football team in that show Friday Night Lights because I really like Friday Night Lights um and there's one in real life too and they were in the Super Bowl once and I was rooting for them just because I liked Friday Night Lights um <laughs> so that's all I know about football Lacey's Lounge that's so cute I like that um, hi, Brian. Welcome. Um, I don't remember seeing any questions from you. I don't actually even remember that coming through. I feel like I would have remembered a Brian. Let me look in the sheet. When did you send it in? Um, I don't know. Well, let me, let me do a little search. Um, oh, no, no, no. We haven't done your question yet. And I do have it. Okay. Thank you for asking. Um, have I ever seen a musical? Like a million. I'm obsessed with musicals. Um, was the first musical I ever saw. My uh, music teacher when I was younger showed us West Side Story and it blew my mind in a million pieces. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, I'm going to be a singer. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the submitted questions. Uh, N-O-I-D-E-A-I-S-H-A-D. I, I don't want to butcher your name. Um, you asked, oh, Dan Gaming, thank you so much for, for the $2. That's so sweet. Um, oh, and ask uh, how I got my start in ASMR. Okay, um, I'm going to gonna answer this real quick. Um, uh, and, and Adam Zachary, hi, hi, I saw your email. Thank you so much, and you're so sweet. Um, so Dan, I had a really, really horrible year and a half, like the worst year and a half of my entire life. And um, I just happened to find this role play community um, late at night, one night when I was just completely shell-shocked. And it was like an escape from my life. I could just be somebody else. And um, a lot of the like toxic stuff really helped me um, kind of work through some of the toxic stuff I was dealing with in my life. And then uh, I just, I realized I already had a mic because um, I'm a singer and I know how to edit. And then I thought I could kind of get back a little bit or, or be part of the community. And I didn't expect anyone to listen and, and they did. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for asking that. And thank you so much for the donation. That's really sweet of you. Um, okay, so let's see. Okay, I have N-O from, from Noi Diashad. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that. Um, they asked, a uh, whole year is amazing. Well done. Thank you. Are there any characters you started writing and then grew to dislike? Oh, that is such a good question. Um, let me think. 
Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. And then, then you say, I love your toxic women series, but sometimes pause and think, hey, that's not very nice. Yeah, very often they're not very nice. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I the only ones I really don't like as human beings are the ones who, um, you know, they're doing really bad stuff. You know what I mean? The teacher and the, um, and the boss and, you know, the Yandir too, but she's like clearly so insane. I mean, we can't even judge her. Um, but I guess we can, she's kidnapped somebody, but, um, <laughs> like, um, you know, the, obviously like the teacher and the boss are super bad people. Um, oh my gosh, Pixels G. Thank you. Holy moly. Thank you so much. I love your videos. You're the best. Oh my god. You wish you the best. Thank you so much. You are so incredibly kind. Wow. Thank you. Um, I'm going to give you the giantest hug in the whole wide world. Um, if you have a question, I'm happy, happy to answer it. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> it's like a little speechless right now. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> um, Wow, yeah, yeah. So I'd say the only ones I dislike are, I mean, you know, as human beings or the teacher and the boss, but they're so fun to play. Those stories are a little bit fun. Um, but wow, thank you so much. Um, so in Headness to ask, uh, you were on the receiving end of the toxic behavior and then the videos helped you cope with it and process it. Yes, actually. Um, and I'm not saying I'm perfect. I, I know in the past I've been pretty jealous and like, you know, um, definitely, you know, not a perfect human being, but what I, what I was dealing with was like another level. Like it was like my, my therapist made me read a book about sociopaths. <laughs> <laughs> she was like you are dealing with a dangerous human being and so it was like um it was it was next level and so uh yeah listening to that stuff um it actually it made me just not feel crazy I was like oh that stuff does exist that was real my memories are real because it really it can the gaslighting can really make you question your own memories and um yeah so like you know it's 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 kind of strange but that's uh that's how I got in there and Pixel G, tell me if you have a question. Oh my gosh, you're just so amazing. Um, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> anyway. Oh, hi, Mocking J. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Okay. Um, so let me go back to the questions. Um, like, I'm still blown away. Thank you so much, Pixel. Okay, Philip, the Phil oh, Philip uh, Alper Beast God. That's a really fun name. I love that. Congratulations on your one year anniversary and keep up the good work. Thank you. I have a question and if it's okay if you don't do it, but will we hear the nerd's voice for the next bully cheerleader video? That's like such a cool question. Um, I don't usually, no, I wouldn't, I, I don't usually put anything from the listener, uh, sounds for the listener, but I've definitely thought one day, like one day, maybe in the future, this could be like a fun um, cartoon or something, or even like a short film or something. Um, so maybe one day you'll see uh, a real nerd. <laughs> um, I don't have the the ability to do that, but um, but maybe one day I'll meet someone who does or or figure it out. So, um, oh, thank you, Chris. Big big hugs back. Um, I really appreciate that. All right, uh, Killmore Combine Zero asks, why the artwork style change? Oh, this one was very hard for me. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I, I was using this model that I fell in love with um, on that site, Neural AI, um, and it was, I was, it was just so beautiful. I was like so in love with it. And then um, I the um the model changed so I couldn't use it anymore and I was bugging out but I was at least thankful that I made like a bajillion um a bajillion thumbnails um so I had a lot to choose from but then I started running out and I was like trying to write to the ones I had and I was like it's kind of limiting and so I still have some that I haven't used yet so you may see some of the new art the old art floating around um, but then I learned how to use stable diffusion. It took me a while. Uh, it took me a while to even figure out how to get it on my computer. Um, and uh, but I have a lot more freedom now. And so I'm really in love with this new kind of art. But I'm still trying to get elements from the old art back. Um, I really love the lighting in the old art. I just think, oh my god, they just do such amazing things with the lighting and the color. So, um, but. 
um, hopefully I'll get closer soon enough. And then hopefully one day when I really, you know, hopefully can afford it, I'll be hiring a, a real artist. That That's the goal, you know. Um, so I feel like I just missed a question in the, oh, oh, how old is the Yandir in your audios? Um, uh, probably about like 33, 34, however old you are when you have a high school kid. I don't know, maybe, I don't know how old. <laughs> I can't do math. Math is hard, okay? Um, <laughs> my best friend always says, I'm too pretty for math. <laughs> oh, I'm just joking, but, um... Yeah, I don't know, probably in her 30s or, or late 30s to have a high school kid. Um, yeah, so let's see. You do stop motion and video games, the Harry Daryl show. That's so cool. I'm going to have to check that out afterwards. Thank you for letting me know. That's really rad. Um, okay, cool. Let's see. Um, we have other questions in here. Okay, Reaper Dragon 115 says, congratulations on your one year. Thank you. Uh, do I play video games? Nope. <laughs> uh, just like I said in the audio, um, yeah, I, uh, I, 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 that was completely true. Um, usually when somebody asks me if I play video games, I say, does Farm Hero Saga count? Um, <laughs> cause I have that downloaded on my phone and sometimes I'll play that just before bed or usually like while I'm editing, um, you know, an audio and I'm listening, I need something to do with my eyes. Um, so on my good hand, not my hand with tendonitis, on my good hand, I'll, I'll uh, swipe some farm heroes. And then if I'm on the phone very often, I'll do some Tetris on the free Tetris site. Yeah. Um, no, 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 it's not a 30 year old high school kid. Um, <laughs> so the Yandir is the mother of the nerd in the cheerleader series. So however old you have to be to have a high school kid, which I don't actually know. I would assume somewhere in your th uh, late, mid mid to late 30s, I guess. Um, so yeah. Uh, you still will be able to use your existing thumbnails to generate more. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, I've been that's what I've been trying to do, actually. Um, it's a little... It's a little trickier than um, than I thought it would be, but it's um, getting getting closer every day. <laughs> um, yeah. So, all right. Let me. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Um, look at these questions. I'm so sorry. I know there's questions coming in, but I feel like I should definitely at least do the ones that people sent in first because I I don't want them to feel like they sent them in for nothing. Um, but I I will will do try to do both. I'll try to take some from the, from the chat and from from the um spreadsheet. Sorry, I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this. Tetris live stream when? Oh my gosh. Um, so I I did um was it called like Tetra Tetra uh, the the new Tetris? That's like crazy. I did that with some friends last year. It was pretty fun. Okay, Travis Howard uh, says, oh, and this is going to sound weird. But I hope you don't take it the wrong way. But I was just wondering if you have a boyfriend or husband. <laughs> it's really sweet. Thank you for asking. Currently single. Um, <laughs> and I like don't have any time right now because all like I am working so hard. I'm still doing some other work. Like I am. I'm not full time with this. Um, I'm hoping to be at some point, but I, I do need to do other work still to be able to make my rent, which is. Um, I do I live in a very small, very modest little, little guest house. Um, very, very like an ADU kind of a thing. And, um, uh, but even that, uh, where I live is, oh God, it's so scary how expensive it is. So, um, so, <laughs> so I don't even have time to date at the minute. I'm lucky if I see my best friend who literally lives six minutes down the road. Um, am I Swifty? Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, I was just playing her right before, um, before I did this. Um, let's see, all right, let's see, let's see, what's next? Um, Philip, uh, Beast is God, how many more of the Bully Cheerleader videos are there going to be? I know you said part 10 is coming out soon, but I'm curious how many were going to be. Uh, congratulations, thank you. I, uh, additional dwelling unit, the Mockingjay, um, it's just like, a, like, you know, like when a, a guest house or a little, little apartment off the side of someone's house. Um, no, it's very small. <laughs> it's very small. Um, and it is very not ideal. I'm not going to lie, but, um, but I'm thankful to have a roof over my head. Um, how many more bully cheerleaders are there going to be? No idea. Uh, 
it could go on a while to be honest because I don't think I want to I want to give her up I don't want to give these characters up I love them so we're just gonna see what happens I I really only know about one episode ahead of you guys um Oh, XU, thank you so much for asking about the Discord. It's open to anybody. Um, if you go to any of my videos, except for this one, it wouldn't let me put it under this one. Um, any of my videos, there's links to the Discord um, right under in, in the information. And please feel free to join us. We'd love to have you. That goes for everybody. Um, thank you for asking. But yeah, I think um, uh, the... Um, bully cheerleader is going to go on as long as it goes on i have no idea <laughs> and i know about one episode ahead of you guys that's it otherwise i don't know either uh, possessive rich girl continuation absolutely i love that girl she's such a jerk um <laughs> she's probably like the closest thing to my ex <laughs> with a little yander mixed in um okay keeping new year's resolutions kind of not really um <laughs> Here comes my shot. I'm an audio engineer and noticed that you sung as well. I love your work. I was wondering if you want to make a song together. Yes, please, please, please reach out. Uh, join the Discord or something. Write, write to me after this somehow. That would be amazing. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so one of the, I don't think you guys have found, there's still another thing to find. There's still another thing on the hunt. Um, but uh, but um, yeah, whenever, I, whenever I'm doing this stuff, it's on my own, except for this one week where I treated myself and, and got an editor to do the next cheerleader. Um, but yeah, I would love to do some music with you or, or just check out your stuff or something. Yes, please. Um, inspiration to the cheer. Oh, I, 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 uh, inspiration for the cheerleader. Um, it, there wasn't one. It, I just thought it would be interesting. And then I fell in love with the characters and wanted to go a little deeper to see why bullies are the way they are. Um, and see if they can be fixed. And I don't know if she can or not, but maybe she can. Yeah, Chris, I think she can. Um, <laughs> okay, um, let me go back to the questions that people submitted. Mal, M-A-L, asked, um, what's your favorite thing about being a VA? It is absolutely getting to know all of you. 100,000%. Uh, the, um, the friendships I've made, like, to me, they're very real. Um, you know, just because it's online and we don't see each other's faces, like, you know, it's like love is blind, y'all. Like, <laughs> like we know each other's souls. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just, it's getting to know you all and, um, and, and it's been amazing. So, um, okay, let's see what else is there. Oh, thank you so much. Um, uh, Gigi, I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right. I, I feel like it's not soothing right now because I'm talking so fast because I'm all nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. I shouldn't be nervous. If, if I'm talking too fast, I'm so sorry. This is not relaxing. Let me take a breath. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, new Lacey album. Oh, thank you. I, I really, really appreciate that. Gonna, gonna make some more music soon. Um, all right, I'm gonna slow myself down, right? That's okay. Because it'll be more, it'll be better to listen to if I'm not all. But little, 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 little. Um, okay. <laughs> Am I studying anything? If not, oh, if yes, what? Um, not currently, actually. Um, but I did, I did study uh, some music for a while. Um, but thank you for asking. That's a good question. Team cheerleader, team yonder. That's really funny. I do consider you a friend, Chris. Um, I, I. I you don't have to be, maybe you're my friend, but or maybe I'm your friend, but you're not my friend. Is that how it works? Like, who said that? Like, um, I'm her best, she's my best friend, or no, I'm her best friend, but, but she's not my best friend, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> so I want to tell you Swift album with your voice. Oh my God, thank you. I would die. Um, that would be so fun. Okay. Oh, good night, William Webb. Have a great night. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Um, okay, let's see. Another question that somebody submitted. Um, oh, Jake Smash. Jake Smash. I love Jake Smash. Jake is one of the first people that I recognized in the comments along with Xavier. Um, Jake has been just so, so kind in the comments and I just love, love, love Jake. Um, Oh my gosh, kill more combined. Thank you so much. I appreciate that five dollars. Wow, that's so kind of you. Um, all right, let me answer your question, then we'll jump back to Jake. Thank you. Have I ever thought about making a manga or a comic of your stories or a novel? Um, how a lot of anime and movies get started. Actually, recently I have been thinking about that. 
um, I have no idea how to do it. Um, but I thought, yeah, I was thinking that might be really actually kind of fun. Um, and, um, I, you know, probably need some advice, <laughs> but, um, but thank you. Uh, yeah, I hope hopefully one day, um, if, is there any of the stories that you think would be, um, would be appropriate for that? Cause I, I'm not going to lie. I don't like read comics, but I thought it would just be kind of fun to see it that way. I, I think comics are super cool and I was always happy for anyone, whatever brings them joy, but I've just never really gravitated towards that. But I just thought it'd be kind of fun. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, if there's any stories of, of mine that you think I should start with, let me know. Thank you again for the $5. That's so sweet. Um, let's see. And I'm so sorry. I know I'm missing a lot in the chat. I'm trying so hard to keep up. Um, for some reason you're shaking. I don't, me too, Brian. I'm so sorry that you are. I, you know what? It's probably because I'm talking so fast. Take a breath, Lacey. Take a breath. <laughs> um, rich girlfriend. Yes, she's fun, huh? She makes you feel really bad. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Um, the cheerleader situation seems very relatable to modern day young women in high schools today worrying about popularity and them being their true selves. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I Again, like I, I, I left out in high school. I don't think I didn't get bullied, not because I was like, I don't think I was cool, but I had an older sibling who was very cool. And that, that got me uh, like, like treated really well for the most part because it was like you know oh well their older sibling is like is that person you know what I mean um so I didn't personally um go th go through that but um but I saw a lot of it and I saw a lot of um yeah the the a lot of girls you know who would just um kind of be mean to people almost just to fit in and um and it's really sad um yeah I I, I totally agree um yeah, it's just super, super bummer stuff. Um, but you know, hopefully, you know, things are going in a better direction now. Um, and uh, kids are being a little nicer. I don't know. I don't know what it's like in high school right now. <laughs> but but um, yeah, that was my experience. Um, any other ASMR artists you'd be interested in working with? I think you'd do great with Wholesome. I love Wholesome Girlfriend ASMR. Oh my God, she's so awesome. I would die. Um, that would be really fun. Um, thank you so much. Um, I, the, the, uh, the little notification just came through. It's on a lag. Thank you again, Kilmore Com um, Combine. That's real sweet of you. Um, what's my opinion on Yandere audios lacking Yandere traits, um, more sadistic and harmful rather than being diehard and round acting? <laughs> oh, I know what it is. It's because I didn't know what a Yandere was until I found, found a uh, role play. Um, I don't know where it comes from. I just, I just <laughs> really liked a few Yandere, um, audios that I found. They happen to be more sadistic and, and dark. And I was like, oh, I guess that's what a Yandere is. And <laughs> like, just complete full disclosure. Um, you know, I just, I, I think I just got the, um, you know, got the, the traits mixed up because I, I, I don't know what it comes from. Does it come from anime? Does it come from comics or something? I don't know. Um, but I just thought it was an interesting story. And at the time I thought that's what a Yander was. Um, so, <laughs> um, anyway, that's the answer. Um, okay. Let me do another one that somebody submitted. Triple G, uh, where do I see myself in a year in relation to ASMR content creation? I hope just making more of it more, um, uh, what's the word? Mm, uh, efficiently. <laughs> Hopefully I can, you know, if, if I could just have an editor, then I think I could be pumping out three of these a week. But, um, because I, I have to edit with a hand that hurts a lot, it's just really slow. Um, so that's my hope is that I just, um, can do more of it. I love it so much. Um, so maybe some more animation in there. I think that's kind of fun. I know it creeps a lot of people out. I think it's kind of neat. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, da, 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 da. okay. Um, oh my gosh. Follower 38. That's cool. Um, you're a writer. That's really neat. That would be really cool. Um, I will think about that. Thank you. Do I know Mean Girls, the movie musical? Yeah, I actually liked it a lot. A lot of people didn't, and I thought it was great. 
Um, nothing is as good as the classic, but I, I liked the songs. I loved the Halloween song. I thought it was so cool. And the, the when the everyone was jumping at the party, the like sma the the smashing song. I thought it was really cool. Um, yeah, I liked it. Um, I didn't see the musical on stage though. Um, have I thought of fantasy based videos? I've done a couple. Um, I don't know if that qualifies. I have like a nymph. I have a witch. Um, and a vampire. I don't know if that that qualifies. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, yeah, there's crossover for sure. Trip for sure. Okay, let me read another. Um, and let's see. Uh, Blase, I think B L A I S E R O L L E asks, why do I use AI to draw the women in your thumbnails? And the reason is because I can't draw. <laughs> I can't draw to save my life and my wrist hurts. But um, yeah, I just, um, I don't have a budget to hire an artist and I do not want um, to be using um, art for free. I, I really believe in, um, you know, in, in paying artists, you know, it's one thing if someone makes you something nice and you put it up, but like, to ask someone to make art for every single one of my videos would be so mean um and that I just don't think that would be right so but I, I hope to one day um be able to really hire an, an art an artist um but yeah so what what I'm doing you know I'm like I'm, I'm writing them I'm voicing them and then I'm editing them I'm like I can't draw too <laughs> don't have that skill set so um but yeah that's why but yeah I understand um you know there's a lot of uh of um, mixed feelings and I do have mixed feelings on AI but um but yeah that, that, that's um that that's why I use it so uh let me see what is next um uh da, 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 da. Yandir schoolgirl punishes you for looking at the tv what did I tell you for watching Nosferatu Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I should do another one that somebody sent in. So, and I'm going to try to slow down. Ah, slow down. Okay. Um, Dingus Dorcas asks, has somebody ever entered your room suddenly while you're recording? If so, how embarrassed were you? <laughs> if you're in my discord, you know the answer to this. Um, so I just spent a while at my mom's house a lot. Um, Oh, good, good night, Mockingjay. Thank you so much for being here. It's so nice to see you. And thank you all for, for wishing me a happy first birthday. <laughs> um, so I was at my mom's house and I was recording um, and the third, their, the third floor where it's like the quietest and most secluded. And I forgot to put up the I'm recording sign. She went to the store, so I didn't think anyone was going to be home. It was like the first time I was going to be home alone in a long time. And I was recording a vampire story that I have yet to put out because it's, there's so much like PTSD involved in that recording. I was in the middle of biting the heck out of somebody in kind of a sexy way and my mom knocks on the door and then opens it up and the look on her face it was like she saw a ghost it was the most terrifying thing I've yet to experience in my life <laughs> and thankfully I convinced her that it was a very innocent vampire bite and I was just killing a bad person <laughs> But it was definitely not an innocent vampire bite. <laughs> yeah, it was the worst. It was the worst. And I had to I had to just immediately practice like pretend that I um was totally like, oh hey mom, what's up? This is totally normal. <laughs> so bad. Um anyway, uh yeah, so okay. I <laughs> holy shit is right. It was terrible. It was terrible. Okay, so um, Nightwing asks, Nightwing, the amazing Nightwing, is it okay if I share what, what you sent me? I don't want to like put you out, um, you know, put you on the spot, but it's like amazing what you did. It's so amazing. Um, she bought it eventually. I, I think it took her a second, but then I like went into the story and I like connected it to one of the stories that I played for her. Oh my God. Okay. Um, so <laughs> Nightwing asks, 
do I play any instruments other than guitar? Um, are there any that you would like to learn? Bonus question, do you have a dream guitar or a dream mic you would really like to have? Oh my gosh, what a sweet question. Um, thank you. I, um, I used to play violin. Um, and um, what else? I've played piano for a little while, but my parents let me quit when I whined about it a lot. Um, and I wish I never did because it would be so amazing to be able to play piano. Whenever you hear me, uh, sing with a piano, it's a friend of mine that I, that I paid. Um, and, uh, do I have a dream guitar or mic? Uh, only because I don't think I'm good enough. I don't actually think I deserve like a, like a fancy guitar. Um, <laughs> Uh, I was thinking about getting like a really small travel one because I, I move around a lot, um, but but I don't think I deserve a dream guitar yet. I'm not very good at it. Um, and a dream mic, I don't know enough about mics, to be honest. I have a Rode NT1A and I, um, I feel happy with it, but um, if anyone knows of anything out there that's better and um, affordable, let me know because I always want these to sound as good as possible for you guys but um yeah that's my answer <laughs> um and okay so what Nightwing did oh my god this was so amazing like oh, amazing um and last year they actually um put music to that lullaby that I wrote so cool um but I um uh yeah so so yesterday I opened my email and from Nightwing they made me a model like like uh like a live stream model and it's so pretty it's so cute um i i don't actually have it handy nightwing but if it's okay can i can i put it in like a community post tomorrow the um the png of it um it's so pretty it's so cute it's so princessy and um i have to figure out how to use it because i literally have not had even like two seconds of free time in like the last week and a half trying to get ready for all this stuff um but I have to figure out how to, um, how to use it. Um, but I'm so excited and thank you so much. It was the most thoughtful, amazing, amazing gift. I can't even, I can't even tell you. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> follower 38, I swear I'm innocent. Oh my God. Yeah. No, she definitely was suspicious for a minute, but then I was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, we killed the bad guy. Um, <laughs> um, uh, oh, MCJ, uh, thank you for asking. I don't really, um, do phone, uh, chatting or, or like discord, uh, voice or anything like that. Um, but I love being friends on here. So thank you so much, um, for being here. Um, do I listen to alt metal or rock? Uh, uh, I don't, my voice is trembling. I know. I'm sorry. It's cause I'm nervous. Um, let me slow down. <laughs> I just, I just feel this like, I want to, I want to make sure I'm answering everyone, but then it's not a very nice listen, is it? All right. Slow down. Take a breath, Lacey. Um, I listen to everything. Um, but favorite band? Hmm. Um, and oh, am I okay? Yeah, I'm great. I'm great. I'm just, I think I'm just nervous because I, I just want to make sure I get to everybody and I, I always... Uh, feel like um like I'm gonna miss miss things and and make people feel left out and I never want to make people feel left out. Um, I don't know. I don't think I really have a favorite band. I just like a like a lot of cold plays great. Um, metal. Um, my friend used to play this record. I think that's an older band. Um, Doom Riders. I remember that was really good. Um, but uh, otherwise, yeah, I don't. I don't think I just kind of like pretty much a little of everything. All right, I'm just going to slow down. <sighs> Maybe I should um, take a break and take a song. Maybe I should do a song that always kind of kind of calms me down. <laughs> you guys cool if I do a song? Um, let's see. I'm going to do this. I, I can only do um, public domain songs or originals here. Oops. And I have one other original that I prepared and a few public domain songs. So these songs are from like the 30s or like 40s or something. Um, and I can do an original later on if you guys want. 
Um, so, okay, we'll do a song. Coldplay is great. Um, thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, you were concerned about my health? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Um, okay. Oh, this is the first time you've joined in an ASMR live. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to play it. I'm not going to look at the chat because that'll help me, like, chill. Chill, girl. Chill. Okay. <laughs> This is someone to watch over me. It's about love is blind. <laughs> There's a saying that says that love is blind. Still we're often told, seek and ye shall find. So I'm going to seek a certain lad I've had in mind. Looking everywhere, haven't found him yet. He's the big affair I cannot forget. The only man I ever think of with regret I like to add his initial to my monogram Tell me where is the shepherd for this lost lamb There's somebody I'm longing to see I hope that he turns out to be Someone who watch over me I'm a little lamb who's lost in the wood I know I could always be good Do one who over me Although he may To my heart, he carries the key. Won't you tell him, please, to put on some speed? Follow my lead. Oh, how I need someone to watch over. Okay, that helped. <laughs> okay, I gotta chill. I gotta chill. Hey, Anand, how are you doing? So nice to see you. Oh my gosh. Play in Paris by Kanye West. No, I won't. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I do love some old Kanye. Everybody does, huh? Um, okay, let's see. So, did anybody um, find the uh, other Horcrux? Um, oh, Brian, wait, before you go, let me do your question, because I remember you were asking about your question. Hold on. You might need to go now, and that's okay if you do. But if you have time, I will answer it right now. Which audio was the most fun to act out? 
Um, definitely the one in the closet. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember that one. It, it, it um, wasn't like one of the bigger ones, but it was like, um, I had you, uh, in the closet with me and we were going to see if your girlfriend was going to cheat on you. And then while we were spying on them, we realized that we liked each other. <laughs> and I just thought it was funny because I was recording an audio that was in the closet and at the time I was recording in my closet and so like <laughs> I just felt like I was actually in the audio because I was like hiding in a closet recording an audio in the closet <laughs> so I don't know and I just thought it was kind of a funny funny audio so that's my answer um but Brian so hopefully you caught that if not I hope you had a great night and I'm sorry that I didn't get to your question sooner um <laughs> so let's see you don't know what to search for I should give you clues um it is, um, what is a clue? It's toxic and it, um, it has to do with one of the most treasured, uh, artists of our time, musical artists of our time. How's that? <laughs> so that's, um, that's your clues. Uh, Somebody asked uh, in, in the um, form uh, anonymously, they asked what's my ideal in a partner, and I would say the three most important things, kindness, hum humor, and having passion. Uh, those are the three things that I think are most important to me. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I wonder if anyone's found it. Has anyone found it? Because that one has a prize too. Um, <laughs> okay, so, um, in Gar, you won the other prize, right? It was Gar and Trip. So get at me and let me know what kind of voicemails you want and I'll, um, I'll send them to you within the month. Hi, bag of chips. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hi. Thank you so much. Um, how do I say your name? Um, Olfind? Thank you so much. That is incredibly kind of you. Thank you f so much for that donation. Oh my gosh. Um, thank you. Thank you for the congratulations and the kind words. Um, thank you so much. Is there anything I can, um, any questions you have that I can answer for you? That is so kind of you. Thank you so much. Wow. Um, <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, okay. I, um, like, I'm just, just, um, speechless thank you <laughs> thank you so much oh, that's extremely generous if, if you have a question please let me know in um in the chat and i'm happy to answer it wow i really appreciate that um thank you um winston asked what my favorite candy bar is and i i thought about it i, I don't really like candy bars they always just make me have a tummy ache um <laughs> but i do like um mini eggs we just had easter and i think mini eggs are the best and um uh sometimes i'll get like a candy bar ish thing if i go to like a a foreign store you know what i mean if there's like a store that has like like foods from another country and i'm like oh i want to try that because they don't have that here and it's usually way better than what we have um <laughs> so yeah that's zero bar is that the ones with like the little holes in it um but love it's like kind of cakey um, thank you again. Um, I wish I knew how to properly say your name. Ovind, I think maybe. Um, that is so kind of you. Thank you so much. Wow. Um, so Marcelo Robbie asks what my favorite character to play is, and it's definitely the cheerleader. She's so fun. And then also the toxic jerks, because I think it's so fun. I'm like basically making fun of my ex when I do that. So if he ever, ever hears this channel, I'm dead meat because a lot of it is like words directly out of his mouth. <laughs> and then I like kind of make him look a little stupid on top of it. Um, oh, arrow bars. That's what I'm thinking of. I really like those. Um, but yeah, those are, those are my favorites to play. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you, RMX. I appreciate that. I'm gonna, I'll, I will actually check my email. <laughs> I'm so bad at checking my email. I never do. Why are elephants afraid of computers? I don't know. I'm going to force myself to slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. Baz asked, um, let's see. Looking at your 
question. First of all, I would like to wish you a gradually you on your first anniversary. Thank you. Um, let's see. When I first started, I was very shy and had low expectations. Um, so because of what I've achieved, do you have more confidence as an ASM artist and a singer, more so as a singer? Absolutely. Thank you so much. And it's, it's just because you guys, you guys like make me feel, um, feel like I don't suck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I always assumed I, I sucked at acting. Um, I actually was told that a little bit once. Um, so yeah, it's because of you guys. So thank you so much. Um, let's see. They were afraid of the mouse. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it took me a minute, but I got there. Um, <laughs> let's see. Okay, what's next? Um, which trilogy do you like more, Star Wars or Lord of the Rings? Um, I don't have an answer because I don't know those very well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know I've seen a Star War. What do they say in Arrested Development? She's like, here, here's ten dollars. Go see a Star War. Um, <laughs> I, I, I know I've seen a Star War, and I did see one Lord of the Rings last year, and it was really good. Um, but I don't know. I don't know which one I like better because I don't know them very well. <laughs> but um yeah so I'm sorry if if like I'm not that interesting you guys <laughs> I really appreciate you all being here I really really do my favorite Christmas movie hands down Home Alone I don't even have to think about it and second most favorite is Love Actually um they're both so good they're such classics uh it was on every year in my house growing up for those two um Oh, thank you, Jasper. You're not a sap. You're amazing. Thank you. Um, and let's see. Nexum asks. Oh, we just not a question. It's just it's a statement. Make more of the kidnapped videos. You got it. I will. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for wanting to. Um, and then somebody asks anonymously, will you put a YouTube donation button in your videos so we can tip you? Thank you. I did that today because of you putting that question in um thank you and thank you to everyone who is please don't feel any obligation to but that's so incredibly sweet thank you um all right so let's see um the next person asked what app or site do i generate my thumbnails stable diffusion now it was neural ai before john doe asks how much can i bench press <laughs> the answer is none <laughs> i don't know <laughs> I've never ever tried. I do lift weights, but they're like five and ten pounds I'm, I'm just in, in my house. So, um, let's see. Um, Pound Cake Poppy asks my favorite band or musician, Taylor Swift. Right, and uh, right now I'm so into Olivia Rodrigo. She's so freaking amazing. Just the songwriting is so bananas, and I can't believe she wrote a song about me, guys. Just kidding. But she has a song called Lacey, and it totally sounds like she's writing about, like, my jerk characters. Um, <laughs> but I love it so much. So, yeah, that's who I'm listening to the most lately. Uh, Rare Ziri asks, um, as COVID was four years ago, how is life post-COVID? It's really, really, really hard, um, to be completely honest. Uh, this has been the bright spot in all of it. It's been a really hard few years but this you guys are making my life worth living to be completely honest so I'm just so incredibly thankful for you all um what company was it that doesn't take anything or rather a very small amount from donations oh thanks for asking um buy me a coffee is really good uh they don't take much um patreon doesn't take much um I don't know what throne takes but um but yeah youtube does take a good chunk but um, that's why I like I don't want you guys to feel I mean, you don't have to give me anything ever like you guys being here is it's blowing my mind so thank you so much um <laughs> I wish I was jacked I want to be strong I want to be able to like how do I feel about spiders terrified that's how I feel um but I don't kill them I always put them outside because spiders are are um you know they're just being spiders they can't help the fact that they're spiders so I'm not gonna kill them um Oh, I just realized that something's going to go out on Patreon in like five minutes. <laughs> so please don't, don't, 
don't uh, judge me for it. I have something scheduled going on in five minutes. <laughs> it might be really intense. Okay, um, top three favorite anime. I can't even name three animes. I'm so sorry, um, but I, I trust you all that they're awesome. Um, what should you do for your birthday, RMX? Oh my gosh, I think you should get your favorite meal and um, hang out with your favorite friends and just do something really nice for yourself. Oh my gosh, happy birthday. It's almost your birthday and it's almost Bass's birthday, I know, because he talks about it all the time. Um, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm very excited for all these birthdays coming um okay Lacey for as much as you feel thankful and happy from the viewership I think people vastly underestimate how grateful people oh follower 38 that's really sweet of you to say that thank you oh my god that's so kind I really appreciate that um <laughs> Lacey's muscle mommy video when I wouldn't even know how to write that um but but <laughs> that sounds really fun I should like listen to some and see what they're about because I, I now that I have stable diffusion I can make my girl jacked um <laughs> have I traveled outside of the country before and what's the most memorable moment I have I've gotten to do a lot of traveling mostly because of music uh some touring and stuff that I've done and I would say Italy and Paris and and France uh Paris Rome um probably my two favorite places in the world um I really liked Guatemala too actually that's the, some of the best food of my life um but yeah uh I love Ireland I love Scotland I love England I love a lot of places um <laughs> let's see my favorite sandwich <laughs> don't judge me but it's a subway veggie delight with no nothing in it like no meat no veggie patty and just cheese and chips <laughs> and chips in the sandwich it's so stupid but it is okay um oh no you had a big spider oh my god that's scary um maybe I should do another song I think that really helped me um sorry I'm just kind of scanning I'm scanning and seeing what uh I maybe haven't answered yet so I'm not repeating myself too much um and so I can kind of get to all all the questions I can who do you consider your hero and have you had the chance to meet them yet? My mom. Yeah, I'm so excited that I met my mom. Uh, she's definitely my hero. She's like the strongest woman I know. And if I end up like one third as good of a human being as her, I will consider myself uh, mission accomplished. But, um, uh, but otherwise, who's my hero? Hmm. I have to think about that. Maybe something will come to me. But definitely the mother. Okay, um, let's see. Let's do another one that somebody sent in. Half Cut Skeleton asks if I'm happy. Um, I would say, as my dad would say, fair to Midland. Um, <laughs> you guys make me the happiest. Um, absolutely. I mean, you guys have made this past year amazing. RMX, go to town. That sounds amazing. Wow. That would, I mean, don't, don't don't feel any pressure but that would be incredible thank you um uh am i happy um yeah in general i'm pretty stressed most of the time <laughs> and i always feel like i'm like not doing enough to be honest i feel like um i feel like you know i'll never get out as much as i want to get out i'll never get things done and i have to just accept the fact that i'll you know i'll never be able to do you know two or three audios a week like I want to plus music plus this plus that um so um uh yeah so I definitely am really hard on myself so I would say I'm happy but I'm very stressed very very often tax evasion role play <laughs> I like that um heading off here but a channel recommendation if you have not heard of it already gingerbread picky oh cool thank you and uh when did the voicemail video with the speaker in chicago i live oh you do oh my gosh landing in that air airport is so scary to me it's like always like the worst like windiest shakiest landing um i'm sending you big hugs because that is really hard i'm so sorry but i hope you have a great uh sleep if you're going to sleep or a great day if you're just going off to start your day thank you so much for being here 
Um, let's see. Oh, I should do another one of these questions and then maybe I'll do a song and um, I'm going to give you another clue because I really want you guys to find this new thing. Um, so you guys found the Instagram, you found the ASMR um, uh, uh, channel that I made. So right now it's called Lacey Soundscapes and Company because it's supposed to be like ASMR ambiance soundscapes, but with somebody in the room. So the, a video I put up right now is um uh it's like you're sitting by a fire next to your girlfriend um and it's like an hour long of us just like hanging out and it's like you know we'll say i'll say some things every like five or ten minutes or like you know drink a sip of tea or something it's kind of more for like ambiance or for like going to sleep and then um i started the instagram um but then uh there's another thing out there I'll give you a clue. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. So, um, and it's toxic. <laughs> okay. Um, so, <laughs> Lavin her sings. Uh, I would love that. That would be amazing. Actually, Zena and I were joking about doing like a, a VA mixtape or something like that, where we're like a Christmas record or something. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, okay. Uh, Lacey audio because, hmm, yeah, I'm trying to figure out, the, how, yeah, exactly what to name it, but I'm not sure. Um, am I planning any collabs with ASM artists all the time? All the time, we're all talking about it behind the scenes. Um, all right, let me finish answering this person's question, and then I think I'm going to play another song. Would you guys like to hear an original I wrote, even though it's really, really dark? Like, it's really dark. <laughs> so it might be, like, sad. But, um, yeah. Um, okay. So the other questions that Half Cut Skeleton asks, favorite music artist and song, I would say Taylor Swift, favorite music artist. Favorite song is uh, Coldplay, Sky Full of Stars. But it's because I have, like, a really nice memory attached to it. Um, so the song is great, too. But it's, yeah, Chris, there's an Instagram. <laughs> But 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 be aware, it's kind of me. It's me, but it's kind of me. So you got to read the description um, so that you can... It's the closest thing to a face reveal I'm ever going to do. <laughs> that's, that's how I'm putting it. Um, and then Half Cut Skeleton asks, what's the happiest moment this last year of YouTubing? I would say right now, tied with when I did my... 10,000 subscribers AMA ask me anything and um, so many of you uh, got together and made this beautiful website for me with Ellie and Ella um, and made this gorgeous website uh, with all these really nice things um, that um, that um, y'all had to say to me and it was so beautiful and I still have it and I even screenshotted it because I'm like if it ever goes away like I just want to be able to still be able to see it so um yeah that was so beyond amazing so okay I'm gonna read a, uh, play a really dark song that I wrote um it's about the most toxic relationship I've ever had in my life um and the addiction to it because I, that's something I talk about in a lot of the audios, too. I think recently, like, I had my Yander talking about that, about, like, how toxic relationships are so horrible, but it's, like, um, <laughs> it's, like, I don't know, an allergic reaction or something that you kind of get a little bit of addiction to the actual thing that's hurting you, so. Um, so here we go. I'm going to play it. It's called Moth. Ellie is amazing. So amazing. Okay, this song is a song I wrote and it's called Moth. I wish that I could Could forget all of the fear and Danger when I never felt 
so small I never felt so scared How good what made me run away still draw me near I play it over in my head What made you hurt me? What made you so mad? Sometimes it sneaks up on me when I least expect I've looked from every angle, could I take you back? And like a mouth to an old flame I crave the bird I have to learn I'm just a mouth to an old flame Craving the bird I had to learn this has to end here This can never be I can't trust you Not with future me You still manipulate me With your lies and threats You've used up all my kindness Holding your secrets And like a moth to an old flame I crave the bird I have to learn I'm just a moth to an old flame Craving the bird I have to learn I have to learn. Sorry, I just needed some water. Um, <laughs> so that's moth. Um, I should probably tell you all in case um I haven't really mentioned it uh lately at the end of videos. I have a Twitch. Um, so every so often, I'm trying to do it more, I'm going to try to do it more. Um, I, uh, love singing songs on Twitch and on Twitch you can play music that is, um, brand new and, and it's okay. Uh, here I have to do either originals or public domain music, like really old music, but, um, on Twitch you can play anything. So, um, thank you for the claps and the kind words. Um. I, yeah, I, I miss doing it. I got to do it more. So, um, I sometimes go on there and live stream and I'll just play covers for like three hours and hang out. So if you want to, underneath any of my videos pretty much is a link to my Twitch and you can follow me there and you'll get a notification when I go live. Um, but, uh, thanks for the kind words and sorry, I know it's such a downer song, but, um, but it was a little therapeutic to write it. Okay. Um, so let's go back to did anybody find did anybody find the last horcrux um <laughs> when is the next stream oh probably next probably next uh next week let's do it next a week and a half from now let's try to do that that'd be great gar thank you so much for following on twitch i really appreciate that thank you um yeah i just yeah i was just playing that live um so yeah, thank you so much for, for saying that. I appreciate that, all of you. So sweet. Twitch plays pays its lawyers and we're dying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so let's see what we have next. Um, Pure Blood asks, what's your full name and where are you from? Oh, that is so sweet of you to ask, but I can't tell you. <laughs> I don't know why I shouldn't have read that. Um, but oh, and then you say I love your videos. Um, I don't know why, but I love your Yandir ones more than the soft ones. Thank you. I appreciate your kind words, and thank you for asking. I wish I could answer that, but I, I can't. Um, oh, we're getting closer to the end of the questions, so there we go. Um, thank you for subscribing, um, Mark. 
Macaroni? Marcaroni? Oh, that's a cute name. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, do I read books? Sometimes. I like reading books. Um, let's see. Okay. Now we need a siren audio. You got it. <laughs> okay. So next we have Wolf Von Roos. Um, if I could voice any character, either video game or cartoon anime, who would it be? Most of you know what my answer is going to be to that. A Disney princess! Um, <laughs> Count Dragon, thank you for following. I appreciate that. I would love to voice a Disney princess or a Barbie. I love the Barbie movies, the little, little short ones. They're so good. And I actually like them, like, now, not just when I was a kid. Like, they're good. They hold up. Um... <laughs> So yeah, that's my answer. Um, and then uh, B fifty no B fifty two is not the person's name; it's the row. Uh, they left their name blank. It looks like. Um, but you sent me a very very. It wasn't a question, but a very very kind um. Uh, note, and I just wanted to acknowledge that I did get it. Um, and I don't. I would would thank you with your name, but I can't because you didn't leave your name but um if you left me a nice uh long email like message um uh i'm reading it and i just want you to know that it really touched me i like I like I, when i read it the first time i like teared up like thank you so much you're so so kind um let's see um <laughs> you despise yenders good for you um, oh, but you know, life's an exception. Well, thank you. Um, but yeah, good for you. Yanders are, are scary people. We should not want them in real life, only in fantasy. Just so I make that clear to everybody, <laughs> I do not promote these like terrible people that I write. You know, it's just, it's, you know, it is what it, it lives in an audio. It's a story. You know what I mean? But I think everyone should be respectful and all that. Um, thank you, Frosty Silverstone. Thank you, The True Zen. Thank you, Dark Assassin, for following on Twitch. You guys are so awesome. Thank you. I'm going to have to do a, a live stream. Let's try to do it next weekend. All right. I'm going to, now that I've said it, I have to do it, right? Um, <laughs> put it out in the universe. Um, cats don't dance. I have not. Um, can I, can you commission me to sing on Ko-Fi? Uh, I, the thing is, is I don't have tons of time lately. Um, but so hopefully, um, when, when you, if you, if you want to follow me on, on Twitch and you want to request a song, I could try to do it there. Um, I'm trying so hard to, to get so much stuff done, but you can always, um, uh, suggest songs and hopefully I can get there. Hopefully one day I can get to the point where I can, um, do commissions. I just, I don't have a lot of time lately. I think Baz, you've got to go to sleep. It's got to be like six in the morning over there or something like that. Go into nights. Um, thank you so much for being here. And, um, and you know, you get the, the replay. Um, and I think something saucy just came, came all your way on Patreon. So that <laughs> is something. Um, thank you so much for being here. Bye, Baz. Um, and don't worry, he'll, 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 he'll be here for the next 20 minutes because that's how Baz says goodbye. <laughs> Um, okay. You've seen the final Horcrux. If I can't, if I can't find, if I can find it, someone else here can. So you guys, it's on YouTube. It's music and it's toxic. <laughs> I don't know how many more clues I could give you. <laughs> if anyone else finds it, let me know. Um, all right. So there's only like eight more questions. Um, then I'll, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for hanging out with me. This has been like two full hours already. Almost. Um, thank you for following, um, uh, Mound of Dirt, Mound of Dirt. Thank you so much. Oh boy. Um, nearly 4 a.m. Oh my gosh. You've got to go to sleep. You think you probably have work today too. Go to bed. <laughs> I would say I read the go the F to sleep book to you. I think you need that sometimes. Um, you dated a girl once and then that wasn't good. Oh, okay. So the next question we have is from anonymous because this is a very salacious question. They did not want their name attached to it. I understand fully. And their question is, does pineapple belong on pizza? <laughs> and I say it does. It's so good. I don't get it very often, but when I'm surprised with pineapple on pizza, like at a party or something, 
I'm not complaining. And um, actually, one thing I decided was because I've literally been working nonstop. Like I worked until 3.30 in the morning this morning. The second I woke up until the second this live stream started, I was like either making a thumbnail or uploading something or making, you know, keywords or something like nonstop. And I love it. Thank God. I love it. Um, but I've decided I'm taking tonight and tomorrow off. <laughs> and um, I am... I'm going to order myself a pizza tonight. <laughs> so, all right. So you guys are trying so hard to find that. I feel bad. I'm going to just put it in the chat. So um, I, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Um, so the last Horcrux I'm going to give you. So let me find it myself. Watch me not even be able to find it. Um, YouTube really loves like, you know, like hiding, especially newer, newer things. So let me find it for you. Thank you for trying. Thank you for playing the hunt. Um, and then I'll answer the last few questions and then I'll let you guys go. Oh, you know, but the, I do want to play one more song before I leave. Um, okay, where, where is it? Um, okay, let me try to find it. Um, the channel's like not even there. Are you kidding? Okay, hold on a second. Did, uh, did my new channel get taken down before? <laughs> before it ever had a chance. Okay, I think I found it. Oh my gosh! <gasps> the YouTube account, my, my new YouTube account was terminated. It really actually was. Hold on a second. What? Why on earth? Would YouTube terminate my new YouTube? Hold on. I texted it to a friend. My best friend. I'm so mad. What? What? Okay, well, there is none. There's no last Horcrux. It was destroyed. <laughs> What the heck? That makes me really scared for my own channel. Jack, you might be right. That's crazy. I'm so sorry, you guys. What if I wake up one day and my YouTube channel's gone? Ugh, I feel like that's gonna happen. I'm trying to remember what email that I signed up for it on. I have like a few emails. Hold on. I want to see if I got a... um. That's so mean. Oh, I'm sad. I spent so much time setting it up, too. Okay, whatever. I won't make you guys pay for this. <sighs> okay. Thank you, Anthony. I really actually hope to do that one day. That's, that's really cool that you say that. I did. I sent you guys on a wild goose chase for nothing. I owe you guys, like, all audios, but I can't do that. If you won today, get at me. I think it was Trip and Gar. I think it was Trip and Gar. If there was anyone else that won, let me know. Oh, I'm so sad. And I'm really scared. Okay. Um, all right. Let's look at these last few questions. And then I will play a song and then let you guys enjoy the rest of your nights in peace. Um, <laughs> so, okay. Omar Moses asks, was the nerd a real story? And can I please continue it? I really feel like a whole world is being developed. Oh, thank you. Uh, it was not a real story. Um, I definitely saw bullying in high school. And I, like I said, I had like a couple moments where, where I felt bullied and it was terrible. And I just can't even imagine dealing with that every single day. And it makes me so mad that, that there are kids that have to deal with that every single day. And it's just tragic. And so, um, yeah, I just thought it would be neat to have a story where... Uh, a nerd, I, I think they stand up for themselves a good amount of time and, um, and then they kind of get to know the bully and see what the heck is their problem and why they, why they are the way they are. Um, so that is, um, my answer. Um, Baz, I knew you would still be up. Um, okay. Uh, am I going to make an alternative path for the cheerleader nerd? I beg please. <laughs> Sleepy asked that. 
so you want a third character for them to choose from or my option there would be that they choose themselves hmm? they don't want the cheerleader or the waitress they just want to choose themselves <laughs> um okay uh sean sullivan um asks sorry if i know i'm probably saying your name wrong uh, my apologies um they ask will i be doing any more vampire geek role plays absolutely um, if you think about it, that vampire is the only one who seems to care that there's a screaming person in the basement. All the other kids were just like, oh, oh what's that? Who cares? Um, <laughs> so that vampire seems to be the only one who cares. And so we, we got to get that person out of the basement, don't we? Um, let's see. An operator, Deer Stalker, says, what do you think if the story of the nerd and cheerleader expands not just on your channel but like some when someone makes an audio for side activities for the nerd and cheerleader to make the story interesting i think that would be so cool i think it would be really really neat um uh if any any uh vas want to do that have at it it would be so cool um <laughs> uh let's see jack you say back up all the audios oh yeah i have i have all my audios backed up always 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 i just would be so sad to like um lose all you guys oh boy i wonder why they took it down i mean it's i know it's a cover but youtube allows covers they just don't allow you to monetize them so youtube will put ads on it and then those ads will um pay the publisher of whoever or well, whoever owns the publishing on the song so i didn't do anything wrong like there isn't even it's not like sexual or anything i don't understand it's like the tamest thing I've ever put on YouTube and that gets pulled down. Um, okay. <laughs> um, so let's see. We have um, Kanak, K-A-N-A-K asks, do you feel awkward while making video especially spicy? Um, <laughs> um, sometimes. Um <laughs> I'm getting more used to it. I mean, I just, I'm not like a very like sexy person. So, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I assume like, like everything I said in that video for the most part is true. Probably the, the not safe for work part is less true, <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, I definitely, it, <laughs> it's more that I'm like, I don't know if you guys think this is, this is or not or if you're just like what is this loser girl saying um so it could be that so um yeah that's my answer a little bit <laughs> but I'm getting getting less awkward about it I don't feel awkward at all with the regular acting stuff at all um that's just super fun I'm talking to the people in my head and that's cool um let's see oh I think we just have uh one more um, oh, no, 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 there's, there's two more. Coco asks, will the Bully Cheerleader video on Wednesday be starting with, we'd be starting fresh with the barista girl or giving the Bully Cheerleader another chance or an alter, ter, alternative storyline? No spoilers. Sorry. I know, but I'm not going to tell you. You have to wait till Wednesday. <laughs> no, but thank you so much for asking. Uh, it took me a while to decide where to take it. That's why it was taking so long. Is because I didn't know either. Yeah, Bazzi, I am not sexy. I'm a goofball. Okay, Zay asks, Zay A Y asks, will it be possible to have a weekly schedule? Oh God, I hope so one day. Um, <laughs> I hope so. I um, uh, it's really hard f hard for me, especially lately, because I just feel like I'm constantly like moving or something. I have two months of house sits coming up um to help me save on a little bit of rent and then after that i have to move because this place unfortunately stopped stopped being ideal for recording uh i was recording in a closet but now there's somebody on the other side of that closet so i don't think they want uh, me yelling in there um <laughs> so <laughs> yeah it's it's gonna be a minute before i can get on a real schedule probably when i can like regularly have an editor um that that will be the total change because then i can just worry about writing and recording because the editing takes so long and my my wrist hurts a lot 
And so it, um, it takes me like three times as long as a normal person because I keep having to take breaks. Um, so yeah, anyway. Um, so those are the la that's the last submitted question. Let me see if there's anything that um, I'm missing. Oh, Sierra, I answered your question. Good. Uh, do a British accent. I don't know how to do a British accent. Um, I don't, I don't even know how to, how to pretend. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. Um, let's see. You love elves and wish I could do an audio about elves. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be cool. Um, Nightwing, I think one question wanted to do a split timeline. So we, yeah, a lot of people asked about a split timeline. I think I'm thinking about stuff. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Um, pineapple on pizza. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good, Philip. Um, maybe it's because of how the video is on YouTube singing channel. Maybe it's just so random. Like there's a million covers of that song up. I don't understand it. It's so weird. I'm going to, uh, bother them and try to, like, it was made with an email that I just made. So maybe because I just made the email, I don't know. Um, house sitting how much does it cost to feed a house well, they have dogs in their house so <laughs> someone's gonna feed the dogs okay oh do I still do acupuncture uh not here but when I'm back home I go to acupuncture a lot because it helps me a lot um I can do the hunt because the original video is someone else's channel if you want hmm. I don't know what that means I'm sorry <laughs> watermelon thanks larry for the watermelon okay i'm just gonna do this last song um oh hi just popping in to say hi and love your end of videos thank you so much i appreciate that that's really sweet um all right i'm just gonna do one more song um and then let's call it a night um let's see i like this song it's called i'm always chasing rainbows uh, and then I guess I know the Judy Garland recording. I went through a big Judy Garland phase when I was little. I was like really into like rap and Judy Garland at the same time. It was so random. Um, so, okay, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to say goodbye because um, I have taken up so much of y'all's time tonight. Um, but I was looking forward to this all day. I was like working, working, working. And I was like, I'm going to go hang out with friends. I'm going to hang out with friends. And this has been so fun. So thanks for being here with me. So this is called I'm Always Chasing Rainbows. Chasing rainbows Watching clouds drifting by My schemes are just like all my dreams Ending in sky Some fellas looking find the sunshine But I always look and find the rain Some fellas make a winning sometimes I never even make a game believe I'm always chasing rainbows Waiting to find a little bluebird in
you all for being here so much. I really appreciate you. Are you going to dream of me? Just like I dream of you When I start to close my eyes It's like my wish come true When the night feels cold If you ever feel alone Know that I'm right by your side Whenever you hear this song Dream that you can hold my hand Dream that you're next to me Until the end are you going to dream of me? Just like I dream of you When I miss your face When your kisses all To fall, so I see you in my sleep. Dream that you can hold my hand. Dream that you're next to me until the end. Are you going to dream of me? Just like I dream of you. Are you going to dream of me? Just like I dream of you. Thank you all so much for hanging out tonight. I just felt like singing you guys another lullaby. I know I sang it in the beginning, but I just had to. I just had to. Um, <laughs> uh, AKB ya 32 thank you so much for subscribing y'all are so sweet um thank you so much um i hope everyone has a great night i am uh so beyond touched and just in love with every single one of you you don't even understand um thank you for hanging out with me for this long it's been uh, over 2 hours of uh listening to me yabber on Oh my gosh, um, I, I don't, I, 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 again, speechless, so thank you. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night, your day, your morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. Um, I love you all so much, and I'm going to say goodbye now. <laughs> um, oh, VLM, you're so sweet, VL man, that's so sweet of you to say. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for being here for my anniversary <laughs> and all the love. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. I just hit my monk, my mic. <laughs> Such a dork. I was trying to give you a kiss. <laughs> Good night.